guys welcome to another uh patreon uh feedback video uh so this is another uh artwork by catch monster and uh, you can uh, get your work critiqued the same if you join patreon at the 15 uh, dollars uh tier um all right, so um, this artwork is not finished, uh, but he asked for feedback um, so he can complete it. Uh, there are a couple of points, actually. I was looking at it earlier and um, I might address like some points. I'll do some paint over and some other stuff. I'll just, um, what do you call it, like point at and leave it to the artist to decide what he wants to do with it so i already duplicated the the uh, image <clears throat> so we'll start with the face first of all and yeah he sent a very low resolution uh file for some reason but anyway uh that's why the uh, image looks a little bit blurry all right so uh, the main light is coming from exactly kind of the top, uh, frontal top, um, that's the main light. He added rim light, which is white for some reason, I have no idea why. Uh, it's supposed to be a little bit yellowish, we, we can change that later. Um, so we got this, the main light coming from the top and for some reason he switched that for the ear he made the light coming from the bottom so we'll have to fix that very quickly here all we need to do is just sample the same colors and try to reverse the direction of the light at the shadow yeah this should do uh, all right, so for the face, um, so far so good. Uh, the stuff that I would fix is the jawline, especially that she's screaming, shouting. The jaw should actually work accordingly. And especially here. Then we'll do and I'm gonna increase the opacity to eighty for this brush. I'm gonna add a shadow here I'm using my much tool as well. All right, something like this. Um, then I will merge down. I'm gonna take the mouth, move it as well. Something like this. Side. Um, now this is very annoying. Uh, and the eyes are very annoying as well. So usually the eyes are uh, grayish blue. They're not white. Uh, the only white uh, color you need to use is uh, the spotlight inside the eye. I'm adding the shadow from the eyelashes. Same here, like this eye is not gonna be white. And um this area here is gonna catch light this area here uh 
All right, the nose is kind of fine. Uh, I'm going to fix. The nose, I mean, this is um, was like according to the artist, he can change it however he wants. But I hate adding the what do you call it the very defined nostril here because uh, it makes the female uh, portrait look uh, older. And we're gonna treat the lips the same, kind of keeping in mind the direction of the light. And something like this. Eyes are fine. Uh, I'm gonna switch now the brush. I'm gonna go with the soft brush. Just trying to give the face like a smoother look. And we have this shadow here for the what do you call this? The bone, uh, the cheekbone. Same thing here. So the face should go darker as we move away from the light. So this is going to be the uh, the lightest area. Okay, something like this. And always the highlight goes from this area, like under the eye, all the way to the lips. And the reason is because we need the light color on the nose. So you define it with light and not define it with a, like a line. Now the eyes. I'm going to erase uh, the highlight. Uh, for the pupil, it's supposed to be kind of the line should be a little bit um, blurry when it mixes with the white of the eye. Uh, same thing to the here. Now we can add red. Or the corner of the eye is always like will always reflect light no matter what. Even in makeup they add like a lighter color. That's what we are gonna do here. Make it more defined. Um make the tip of nose more defined while the rest is kind of a little bit more lost now this area here is going to be very tricky so it's uh, better to have a reference especially here Because when you open your mask this way, we're gonna get lines here. But for the female portrait, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, anything else? Maybe make the nose a little bit smaller. And might switch the brush with like a hard edge round brush. And Now we can add the highlight. So it's gonna be very small and goes with the, the direction of the light and shadow. Go back to my hard edge brushes. 
mean, I'm more comfortable like fixing um, portraits. Kind of like memorized uh, the shapes and the patterns. Uh, but yeah, for the rest, I'm gonna just point them out and leave a little bit room for the artist to. Uh, Add his own touch. All right, go back to the nose. Okay, now for the face, I'll go with like orange. back I think this is an okay start and uh, the face. And let's go back with this like round uh, brush. The shadow here is like way too sharp, so I'm gonna just smooth it a little bit. And in the shadow, I'm gonna add maybe a little bit more gray. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I think if the light is coming from the top, then... Maybe the whole like, kind of ear is going to be covered in shadow. Maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway. We can compare now. Or and after. Yeah, it's mostly about uh, the jaw and... How you move it. Alright, let's do the other stuff very quick. We don't want this to be 14 hours critique. Um, so the body here is fine. I would suggest to go with a soft brush. Uh, to render like the breasts and this area. And then go with a hard brush to uh, define the uh, edges. Uh, but we got like the neck here we got this muscle which is completely ignored for some reason so this muscle connects uh, like the head so it comes from behind the ear then we got this muscle here well, I'm not sure what you call it so this muscle here that connects the back all the way here Front and we got probably it's not gonna be this dark under the neck, but anyway. And but definitely we need more space between like this area and the breasts uh, 
So to fix this problem, I would either copy the whole thing and move it or move the breasts. One of one of these options. It's easier if the character is separated from the background and it's easier if if this arm is separated from the character. Uh, but yeah, let's try it. I mean, yeah, we'll see. It's a good idea or a bad idea. So we're gonna cut all of this. And we'll do copy. Or something like this. And the shoulder is gonna be here. It's not over there. Uh, let's flip, check. I mean, one of the kind of cool aspects of painting on one layer is that you can definitely. Uh, Finish stuff much faster, so I don't need to go jumping from layer layer to layer and that array stuff. You can just pick the color from the background and um, do it this way. And so I think the neck is way too long now. Maybe try and draw it. Yeah, sometimes uh, the error is not exactly where you think it is. You might need to keep trying. Move things around. And spot. The error somewhere else. I'm gonna switch to soft brush. Try this way. Okay, go back here, increase the opacity. Usually I work with 70% uh, opacity, but for this brush, increase it to 90. Okay, now we can fix the arm. Um, like I'm not sure what's happening here, so if this is the shoulder, then I can do it. Maybe something like this, just trying to the arm is kind of Let's see, yeah, maybe something like this is better. And the distance between like the knuckles and the hand is like way too short. I thought, sorry, the thumb. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it now. Let's see. Something like this should work. At least I think so. It's easier if I have like a pose reference. Uh, let's. I think I will move this whole thing forward. Yeah, let's look at this. And this is why you need a reference at all time because, as you can see, like the amount of painting I'm doing now. Uh, um, 
the amount of like the number of hours uh, posted, uh, sorry, spent by the artist just rendering while the whole anatomy is kind of like a little bit off. These, let's see. Now the the hand is fixed. Highlight here. Okay. All right. Uh now for this bit here i would definitely make it a little bit bigger something like this i can add those now yeah something like this and what else so now this depends on the character design in general yeah for the hair uh, i'll definitely suggest using a different brush and you have to treat the hair as smoke i mean this is okay as a base but requires a lot more work and yeah i mean try to make the hair go with the flow kind of the movement if you need to add more uh space either like make this character smaller or increase the size of the canvas if you don't want the hair to be like touching the sides all right let's go back to the arm um so this is okay but i would definitely spend more time kind of defining the um mechanism here so like add the joints like just show a little bit like how this could work like how these fingers function even if it's not like 100 percent practical but at least gives an idea of um of how this uh, whole character can can move but we're missing the thumb for some reason unless if you want so she has like three fingers i'm not sure if this is like uh, did i no okay so the thumb should be in the other side not sure he's like mirroring this hand here big mistake Yeah, something like this. Yeah, we can take the thumb off from this side. And it's very bad to add like rim light everywhere. You need to decide where the rim light is going to be and stick to that decision. Yeah, throwing rim light at every surface, like on a random location, is bad. Uh, This is okay, this is okay. Fine. Right here. Alright. Okay. So this area here, and so there's the shadow from the hand, but it's gonna be this way. So not gonna cover her thighs. Oh, 
worst case scenario probably get like the shadow here something like this and then probably we'll get some more like light here as well um let's see. now you can work with like the light coming from the back you don't need to add another like from light Yeah, something like this. to think of what else to be added The shadow from the head is going to cover like the bicep. I think. Well, let's try. Or maybe better this way. I'll add another layer and I'll try to select the skin. The issue here is that it's very monochromatic. we need to add more color to the skin I'll 
adding uh, subsurface scattering. Water. Okay, and we can maybe select the same, go with color balance. The lighting. All right, so from gray to more like red, I think this is fine. Oops. Yeah. Anything else we can add? Mm, probably can move the ear. Horns are like, placed in the wrong kind of position, so this one is bigger. There is no rim light. I've noticed this uh, kind of mistake with a lot of like, new artists. They think that adding grim light everywhere is the key to make things look 3D. Okay, uh, probably can add some light, more rendering to the tail. Yes. Yeah, the highlight on the hair is ugly, so probably can give it the same treatment. Uh, this layer with overlay. And this looks even better. Yeah. Select go with color or with light. Trying to like just change the highlight color from this like gray white kind of mix. Uh, anything else? Definitely, like for final touches, I would orange to add a little bit more bloom to the screen. something like this uh, 
maybe we can fix this one. So this is like kind of fun and stuff. Stuff here. Might not be a bad idea to keep the background very very simple. We don't want a lot of noise around the character. Trying to like knock back the uh, uh, highlight on the face a little bit better. All right, I think this is probably it. And play around with. adjustment layers Uh, I'll keep the color the same. Um, all right, I think this is probably it. So we group these. So mostly um, fix the face, um, get a reference for the face, and this area here is gonna be tough. Um, you need to take into consideration the jaw and how it's uh, like the anatomy when the jaw related to the upper like the skull kind of function when the mouth is open and then you need to soften the details for the female portrait uh, try to keep in mind all the uh like when you're rendering that there's only one uh, main light your key light that's coming from the top and just render according to that so all the shadows and everything should like, go hand in hand with that uh rim light it's yeah just remove it like go with the yellow uh, explosion in the back use that as your rim light uh if you want to add another rim light from here then don't pick white just pick any other color maybe like light blue or something um what else yeah fix the hand the like get uh, reference for the pose fix the hand here as well like the thumb was in the wrong uh, position um, remove the rim light as well uh, what else yeah the character in general like this area here is tough uh, I would definitely need a reference to fix it uh, but yeah you need more space so between the bones here what do you call these the collar bones and uh, like the chest oh yeah uh anything else what else 
Yeah, for the face, like, use a soft brush and then define the edges with the hard edge. Yeah, this, like, this hard shadow here on the, like, the jawline, this is really ugly. Everything should be, like, very smooth. Okay, here in this area. Uh, yeah, I think these are, like, the main points. You can do a lot more. Uh, yeah, maybe final thing to mention is, like, uh, just invest more time in defining the mechanism for the hand like okay you just added uh spheres and cylinders fine but we need to know like how if this is going to be functional so maybe a little bit more work here on the like wrist and like the knuckles uh, maybe it's like, made out of kind of like layers so show that there's like a layer that is hiding the mechanism underneath so stuff like that uh, how is this hand either even like connected to her body so you might want to probably add another like strap here goes all the way the so stuff like that shows that you are thinking about how this character functions in the world Maybe something like this. Usually uh, they will have, what do you call it, like a fur underneath so metal doesn't like scratch the skin. Like that. Usually that's the, the case for armors. Uh, maybe there's like another strap here. Anyway, be creative, think about it. But yeah, like adding more details to the character maybe wearing another like, stuff yeah the more stuff you add like makes her more interesting now it feels like uh, very bare bone kind of um but yeah that's about it um if you guys are interested in getting something similar uh join the patreon join the discord um links underneath the video uh what else yeah um that's about it i mean i'm interested to see how this is gonna be uh finished so yeah let's hope he posts that on discord uh, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, all these social links uh, under the video. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And until next time.